Hello everyone, this is Jason with For Geek Sakes. I just wanted to do a quick video between football games. It is the playoffs and I'm all into it right now. Um, don't have a favorite team, but I have a favorite player, Peyton Manning. So if you guys are against him, I'm sorry. I like other players, but that's just my guy. But anyway, I just wanted to do a quick video on changing the IP address inside of Unity Connection. Uh, it's really simple, straightforward, so I'm just going to hop right to it. What you need to do is to go down to System Settings, Cluster, hit Find, and when you find the IP address, you just click on it, and then you're just going to change it to the desired IP address. So I'm just going to move it from one network to the other just to show you guys how to do it. Uh, I am working currently on a virtual 2008, Windows 2008 virtual server and it's on the 192.168.15.0 network and my home network is on the 192.168.1.0 network. So I'm going to give this an IP address of 192.168.1.27. Just a random number. I'm going to hit save. And the next thing we're going to do is go over to the OS administration portion of the Unity Connection. I'm going to log in. Next, I'm going to go to Settings, IP, Ethernet. And I'm going to do the same and change the IP address here. So 15.1.27. And I'm going to need to change the default gateway on mine. And it just gives you a warning about changing the IP address. And again, if you're running on a lab environment, it doesn't matter about affecting the license because you're on a demo license. So no matter what IP address you put, it is going to work the same because it's a demo. If you are in a production environment, you will have to contact Cisco to get a new license for the new IP address. So I'm changing the host. I'm sorry, I'm changing the default gateway here to my 1.1 and hit save. Now once once I do this, the server will immediately restart. So we're going to pause right here, and when I come back, I'll log into the Unity connection on the 192.168.1.0 network. Alright, now that the server appears to be back up, let's go over to the web browser on the 192.168.1.0 network and try to log in to the Unity connection. The web page came up. Okay, gonna log in. And the login is successful. Well, guys, that about wraps it up. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment or text me or reach out to me any way you can. Um, I'd like to thank you guys for liking my videos and subscribing to my videos and sharing them. So please continue to do so and I'd like to thank you once again for geek sakes.